Good morning and welcome to Facebook Live. Bear with me while I just refresh my computer. That's it. Okay. Excellent. Morning, Julie. <laughs> Julie to Julie. <laughs> I hope you're all well. It's not as cold as it has been this morning, but it's still oh, it's not very warm, I have to say. OK, so I hope you can hear me loud and clear. I forgot to check my volume. So if you could send me a heart or two, that would be lovely, just so that I know it's all OK. Um, and uh, morning Andreen, morning Patsy, excellent okay thank you for the hearts that's brilliant and um, hi Sandy, oh don't blame you choosing me instead of golf this morning, <laughs> I choose me over golf every day. <laughs> Oops, I've just moved something and all my brushes have fallen off. Never mind. Morning, Shell. Morning, Sue. Morning, Sue. Morning, Maxine. Excellent. Hi, Sarah. Oh, this is lovely. I didn't expect so many of you to join me, like, at such short notice. So that's fabulous. <coughs> OK, um, I'm going to do the... Um, this card, the dragonfly and the cloudy background today. Morning Joan, morning Belinda. Um, but I also wanted to talk about, hi Katie, I'm also going to do um, a live soon using, I want to show you how I created the watercolour backgrounds for these. So I thought I'd do a couple couple of cards similar I'm maybe not exactly the same but similar to those and then I'm also going to do um show about using the butter oh, helps if you get it out the right way the butterfly stencil but using it with my beautiful bloom stencil as well so they will be to come um at least one of them this week but we'll we'll see how we go morning Wendy so I'm going to flip the camera and we'll get on and we'll have a a little morning a little while creating this cloudy I'm not going to use the dragonfly this time I think I'm going to use the butterfly just I like to make it different so hi Ruth oh excellent <laughs> glad your goodies arrived but not so good no time to play <laughs> morning Christine I know what it's like though it's terrible okay let me flip the camera then and uh, we'll make a start bear with me oh no I didn't mean that Go away. Oh, I don't know how to get it back now. Do I have to touch? Oh, right, okay. <gasps> if only I knew what I was doing. I would be dangerous. Okay, so let's bring the camera down. Let's... My lights are going to be a bit horrible to start with, but I will get them sorted out. Do the weight on this arm to keep it down. That's that's better, right? Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to be using. So we're going to be creating this card. But like I say, I think I'm going to do the butterflies this time, just to make it something a bit different. Because I do like. I'm not very good at making the same card more than one. I'd never be able to do wedding stationery. I'd be terrible. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do it with butterflies this time, just for something different as well. So I'm going to use the cloud stencil to create my, or the, sorry, sunshine and more to create my clouds. Um, got my stamps ready as well, if I, whatever I need out of there. And I'm going to be using wilted violet for my rainbow. I'm going to be using mermaid lagoon. I should be using mode lawn. And I shall be using mustard seed. And I will also be using ripe persimmon and picked raspberry. Okay, so, sorry, I'm just reading the comments. Yeah, I, I 
wouldn't be able to do wedding stationery. I know that much. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so let's move those out of the way so they're all in line ready. I have a piece of A4 card and I have my scoreboard. Now, I don't keep DL cards, so I would always make make my own i'm running out of room now i might need to move these out of the way hang on i've got very limited space and i'm just making it even more limited having those all out let me then i can bring this in i can't I don't think, oh it might go under there there we go right so i make my own dl cards so usually a dl card is i don't know if it's 10 or 10 and a half actually now i've said that well, I've made this one ten and a half, so it's 21 centimetres piece of card. So I'm going to do ten and a half again. So I'm going to score at ten and a half on my piece of A4 and then fold this over. Make sure it all lines up nicely and score it down. And then I will chop this piece away so I have myself a DL card. And now I've just got to remember what I've done with my with my guillotine. So if I wobble the camera, I apologise because it's hidden behind my computer. So bear with me a minute. I should have remembered to get it out. There we go. Right. So I would just chop this piece off. And then I'm not sure that's big enough for my butterflies or not, but we'll see. So now I have my card blank ready to go. Let's move this up here, then that's a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to put my card there. I'm going to get my stencil. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remember that I have... this really clever board that I always forget about and it is so good with stencils so I shall have it up the right way let's have it up so it says make art okay so it cut it's a magnetic board and so it comes with obviously some magnets to hold your card and bit in place and your stencil i'm actually going to use it to hold my card in place i think because i use hmm, might use it for the stencil as well okay so you just pick a part of the oh before we start we need a piece of tape i'm going to tape along the edge here so that any ink when i'm blending i don't have to worry about my ink coming down over that area it just makes it so much easier so I've just covered the top of the bricks. So then when I blend, I don't have to worry. So I'm going to place this down. Doesn't matter where it goes. I'm going to start with Wilted Violet and my blending brush. Now, because I'm not going to be doing a lot of blending, there may even be enough ink left on the blending brush. So I'm actually going to just have a go first of all before I load my brush up to see no i do need some more okay so load your brush up don't be frightened to put quite a lot on you can take it off if you want to before you start um but just as long as you go gently to start with you should be fine so i'm going to add some color and i've got a nasty mark now but I can put my butterfly over that, so don't panic. And my first lot of colour, I did two lots of each colour. So my first lot I did was darker to start with. So let's just make it a little bit darker. And then I might better hide that colour a little bit. Okay, so now when we move my magnets, I've got a lovely bit of inked cloud to start with. So now I'm going to move it down um let's have it back there and this time i'm not going to re-ink i'm just going to come back in and i'm just going to go very gently 
and rather than trying to bring the colour all the way up to the top of the cloud before I'm actually just trying to get the shading for the next lot of clouds rather than actually trying to colour this area I'm actually just trying to get this area of cloud showing so I'm happy with that so I don't need my purple anymore let's get that out of the way what I need to do though is I need to wipe my stencil of any purple ink before I go on to my blue which I'm using Mermaid Lagoon so again I'm going to lay my stencil down make sure you move it around and get different areas of the stencil showing um, don't forget that this time I'm going to be doing I'm going to put it down a little bit I'm going to be doing the darker version first so I'll load my brush up and then come in gently to start with and then you can add a bit more pressure so that you're getting a bit of a darker colour coming through. You shouldn't need to re-ink the, the brush, you should have enough in that one go. So then when I pull this down, I've got that lovely deep purple, a soft purple, the blue, and then I want to have another bit of blue, like there. Let's pop that down. And now I need to go gently, probably need a bit more of a gap there. So just gently this time and working more on the edge of the stencil so that you're going to get some of that white showing. But you do need that edge just defined. So happy with that. I've got a deeper blue and then I've got that softer blue. Oh, do you know what? I, I love stenciling. I really do. I, I just think how lovely does that look already? So again, wiping the your ink off before you go to your next colour so that you don't blend the two colours together. But it, to, to me, it is so satisfying. It's so easy, but just like the result instantly is fabulous. OK, let's put them over the top this time. So we want green next. So now we're on to mode lawn. Again, loading my brush up. And then this is going to be my deeper. Oh, very deep. OK, this has got a, this is such a lovely brush. Do you know what? I know I want to come up a bit more. That's better. Right. I'm going to talk a bit about these brushes because these are funky fossil brushes. And you can so tell the difference between a generic brush which these were cheap, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was an offer. Mind you, they were on the offer. Came with a holder thing to hold them in and um, wasn't very impressed with the holder because everything. I every time I looked at it, they all fell out. So I've ended up taking them out of the holder. But the difference between the Funky Fossil brushes and these brushes, honestly, these really are worth paying that little bit more <clears throat> and they come in three sizes i think i think i had like a set like that these are so much nicer brushes i think that's going to be on my list to invest in some more of those because the difference in the blending is beautiful okay so we come down and again we want i want a bit of a different area let's bring these the other part of the stencil in that's better Right, so now I don't obviously don't want to ink up. I've got a lot of ink on my brush. I probably did have enough on this brush before I even inked it up. I should have checked. But a nice soft one, but so that you're getting that definition of the cloud still. Oh, just makes me happy. Just, I love it. It's so easy. It's foolproof. So must make sure I wipe this off because I'm going to yellow next which is obviously a pale colour and easy contaminate it with a deeper colour okay 
Oh, I've got a little bit. Let's wipe that off. Try and keep the back of my card nice as well. Okay, so now we'll put the stencil back on. And we're going to move down to mustard seed now. So that's the yellow that I've picked. Now, my mustard seed ink pad isn't very nice. I think there may have been, may have been a problem with them. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. It reacts a bit funny. So I'm not going to put too much ink on and we'll see how we go. I'm going to come in very lightly because I know that this is a much stronger or the colour and again it's one of the lovely funky fossil brushes so the quality of them is so much better the thing is it's okay having things that are cheaper but only if they're really good and when something is inferior you're much better to spend a little bit more money on your tools and have good brushes then keep spending a little bit of money but not actually really being happy and then you don't actually like what you do with them either so it's a false economy really okay so now i'm going to blend up I'm not going to put any more ink on i'm just going to blend over and i'll, I'll pull off the ink that's on here anyway but i'm just going round i want to leave some of that white showing so i've got some of the the soft the the two i can't speak the two tones of the color so same color but you do get a lighter and darker um bit showing well let's get rid of that and did i go over that side a little bit and then let's clean up my stencil again So one piece of tape should do the whole, should stay on there and be fine for the whole of the um, stenciling. In fact, I probably will leave it on there. And then when I come to use it next time, the tape will still be fine. OK, so I've got orange and pink to go and I might put a little bit of purple at the bottom, which is what I had to do last time. So on with my orange and I've used ripe persimmon this time for the orange and I'm not sure if this needs I think this might need re-inking because it's quite pale and looking on the time looking a bit run out okay so let's move that down a bit because I am pushing quite hard to re-ink I'm not pushing hard to stencil because I want to get that soft softness showing. So you're much better to keep going over and over and over and over rather than trying to put too much pressure in one go because it ends up showing that way. OK, so we've got our orange and now we'll move that down a bit. And we'll just blend in nice and softly just around the top of the stencil so we get that white still showing as well. Okay, happy with that. Take those off, give my stencil a little wipe. So I have to say it's been so lovely seeing all of you commenting obviously about Hazel's collection that was fabulous um, but to hear that lots of you are receiving your parcels now so I'm looking forward to seeing you get creative with them and make sure that you um, do add a hashtag Julie Hickey Designs because it's it's just so lovely to see what you've made with the stamps and the stencils as well so so i'm adding this is picked raspberry probably my favorite pink that there is still think it should have been called pickled raspberries but there you go not really sure what pickled raspberries would be like <laughs> okay so happy with that and now i'm just going to move it a little bit 
and we'll have a really nice soft piece. Just blend it around the top of the stencil. So keeping my brush quite close into the stencil and that way I'm getting more of the shape. Whoops. So that I get that bit of white cloud as well, which is what I wanted. Okay, so what I did now on my other card was I went along the bottom with the purple because I needed to finish it off. But I'm not so sure I do. No, I'm going to leave. Or should I just put a very soft bit of pink along. The, so you've got a, so your eye stops at the bottom of the card. So it's framed. That's it. Lovely. OK, so that is my lovely. How beautiful is that? <laughs> just to put anything on it. Flowers, anything. Kaz's little birds could be standing in the clouds. Oh, I'm sorry, but isn't that lovely? Don't you agree? Right, let me uh, just whiz back because I know there's been some comments and I haven't been able to watch and so I got to Ruth hadn't I and Christine hi Jackie hi Debbie hi Gavin thanks for sharing looks like a moon at the top it does actually doesn't it yep Joan you agree with me I'm assuming that that is actually about the um blending brushes I would think hi Diana hi Billy that's the third person including me that's had a problem with that colouring yeah, I, that must be the um, mustard seed. I think there was some that were a 40 batch, I have to say. Miriam, hi. Pick draws with me. It, yeah, absolutely. Hi, Joe. Thank you, lovely. Hi, Pauline. Fab back. Thank you. I just think you could put anything on there, couldn't you? Just even silhouette, lovely silhouette flowers would look beautiful. Just a die cut, um, Tim's Wild Flowers die cut. That would look really nice on there. But of course, Hazel's Butterfly is going to look beautiful on there. So I have to say, I really do love this. I just have to remember to get it out and use it because it's, it's so clever that it's magnetic. Okay, so next up is stamping my butterfly. Oh, I didn't clean my stencil. I must clean my stencil. Okay, so that's that. So next up, I want my stamping press. Move that card out of the way. So I'm going to, I don't know if the butterfly will fit on here. It'd be great if it did. Because then I've just used an A4 piece of card. Of course it will. And we'll have, I'll do a couple of the little butterflies as well. Oh, I might actually, if I'm really sensitive, I might even get my happy birthday out of it. You never know. Maybe not. We'll see. I have got plenty of card. Why am I trying to squeeze it into a little tiny area, honestly? Do you find oxides better than diabetes distress? Um, Julie, yes, I do. I love distressed oxides. Um, the distressed inks are probably more vibrant in colour, but the distressed oxides, because they have the pigment mixed in with the dye, I just find they're great to do backgrounds, but they're also great to stamp. Like, so I would never stamp with a distressed ink pad because it tend, I find that it's, it bleeds and it goes quite feathery and it's not clear and crisp. Whereas when you stamp with the distressed oxides, you I would do a sentiment and be quite happy to stamp that. In fact, let me get, hang on. Where's my pink? So something like this was all stamped in picked raspberry. I did put clear embossing powder on it, so it is actually shiny. Um, but... It's it gives you a really lovely crisp image, whereas a distressed ink pad, I don't find they give as nice images. So I find that they bleed a little bit more, whereas this way they um, they just stamp beautifully. 
Okay, so I'm going to ink up my stamp. I'm trying to read. Yeah, pick, pickled raspberries might be a bit mushy, mightn't they? <laughs> right, so I'm using um, Versafine and Onyx Black because I just want a black outline for my butterflies. And I've got one big one. I've got one small one there. So let's clean them off and then I can get rid of my big one. And I will move my little one. So can I get another one in there? I can that way. And I, st I need three. I, I would still probably have three butterflies. Yes, I don't know why I'm worrying about getting the happy birthday on there as well. I do have other bits of card, for goodness sake. <gasps> Didn't clean my stamp properly. Good job it's in the press. Okay, so they're my bits that they're ready to be cut out. I'm going to leave these to dry and I'm actually going to do the happy birthday next so that that's heat embossed and then they'll be a bit drier for me ready to cut out. Because if not, I might have to heat them just to finish them off. Okay, so they're my bits that I've got. So I now need my lovely happy birthday. Oh, I absolutely love these stamps. Um, we've got the Just For You and With Love as well. And... Um, Ruth has also asked me to do a thinking of you and a thank you. And Ruth, you'll be glad to know they are being sorted as we speak. So they will be coming out shortly. So we will have a thank and a thinking of you because we've got the you. Um, and I've got to remember how I did it now because I thought we could use the you from just for you i can't remember what i did now but yes i took took notice and they will be in production soon okay so wiping my card with my anti-static bag using my wow embossing pad and inking up my stamps I just think it's such a lovely bold font that works if you've got any of the um Sweet P alphabets, they, it looks lovely with those. You can put names onto cards as well. And this font just looks lovely with them. But it's really lovely and bold. It's great for male or female cards. Embosses beautifully, stamps beautifully. Yeah, you can tell I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, so get my piece of card. Get my trusty... Uh, Metallic Platinum, of course. My favourite, favourite colour. Give that a shake. Look at that. Even without... Oh, I've got nice hair all the way through. It must have a hair on my stamp. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure it won't show. Let's hope it doesn't. But I should have looked at my stamp. It looks like I've got hair on it. Okay, so let's heat this. Get my tool. Onto my number two heat setting. Yep, we are. <laughs> How strange. We have done a handmade with love as well on something else that's going to be coming out so hey, Marilyn yes we are okay so I'm heating this I'm hoping you can see it change in colour and then you can put that way there we go so just randomly working over the greeting making sure it's all heated before I move on to the next letter not waggling my gun, literally just moving up and down. So 
so that I know it's all beautifully embossed. Okay, so how, yeah, look, you can see it though. <gasps> okay, so what I can do is go back into my press, make sure it's lined up. Wipe off if I have got a hair, I can't see one. Then I'm only going to ink the D and the A or worry about those. And let's see. I might ruin it because it might not be quite lined up, but let's see if it does sort it out because I can see a big line all the way through it. Mm -hmm. Might have to have a look at my stamp. We'll look at my stamp in a minute. I might have a mark on it. Oh, I have definitely got. Okay, let's have a quick. I'm not sure why that would have happened because I've I can't see it on there. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to stamp another one. I'm intrigued now. Okay, so let's make sure I wipe my piece of card. Sorry about this, ladies. I'm just. Intrigued if there's anything wrong with it. Because I can't see anything coming out. Let's try again. That's fine this time. How strange is that? Maybe it was in the letters too much to uh, for it not to show even though I did it a second time so always good to check that your stamps don't have a hair or anything on them before you emboss them okay let's melt this again Doing exactly what Marion tells. Whoops! I thought I'd missed the B now. Oh, never mind, I use the other bird. Oh no, I can't. I just caught the letter on when I tipped it upside down. Never mind. <sighs> Should have left it, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would teach me. Okay, so. Let me bring all the bits back in. One thing I would recommend you do before you start trying to cut out anything that you've done with um, versifying, because it does take a while to dry, is just go over with the kitchen roll and make sure you don't get any pattern come off. And then you'll know that it's okay to cut it out. Only I end up with black fingers sometimes. So, they're the bits we're going to cut out. I can't believe I dropped that. Right, well, I'm definitely having that happy, but the happy was all right last time. Right, let's see what it looks like. I do like to cut these into two. Now, you don't have to cut round them, but I do... I like how they look, but so I do cut them and leave a border and you can make that border as big or as little as you want. Obviously, the bigger the border, the easier it is going to be for you cutting out. 
But I just think that the shape of the... Um, when the words are cut out and you've got that shape showing, I just think it adds a bit more interest to your cards. But you can just cut them out as a banner if you wanted to and just put them straight straight down onto your card. At least this way, by cutting it out, I'm going to get rid of some of that embossing powder that um, fell off when I turned, turned it over. And I'm going to show you, actually... A way to sort that out because I just thought what I could use so that I don't I haven't taken it out of the uh, press yet but obviously I've moved I've cut the piece of card now so I'll never be able to line it up again but I'm going to show you another way to uh, put that missing piece back in so if it happens to you and you have what I'm going to, oops, and you have what I'm going to use, you'll be able to do it. So I've gone right in with the R this time. I don't think I did. No, I didn't cut that bit out last time. But I had a splodge of embossing powder that I wanted to get rid of. So there's always a way to sort something out. Nothing's, you shouldn't ever really, not really have to waste anything. Um... Things like with the ink blending, sorry, I don't know if I'm in shot then. With the ink blending, um, that's why Hazel's little butterflies that are in the set are so useful. You get a bit of ink blending you don't like, just add a little butterfly. Okay, now that looks better now. I'm going to show you how to get that. If I show you that B, can you see where it's missing here? I'm going to show you how to put that back in. Let me just cut these out first. Okay, so the happy is fine. So I will go back. I don't know if I'm... It's very difficult trying to watch what I'm cutting out and read the comments. So I will go back at the end before we go and just read the comments and answer any questions if there's been any. I don't know if Philippa's watching. Um, but, yeah, because I know Philippa's very good at answering questions if she is. But I didn't know I was going to do this live. I was waiting to find out. I had to go and pick something up this morning. So I was waiting to find out what time I could do that to know whether I could do the live this morning. So luckily I heard back early. And that's done, and so I could do my live, which is lovely. I'm so glad that you all absolutely fell in love with this collection. It is just fabulous, and we are in the process at the moment of um, Hazel's, as a result of it, had some great ideas for some additional bits, which won't be coming out for a few months, I ha hasten to add, um, but we are working on them now, so... That will be good. Some more good things to come. So it just is just going to extend what you have already got, which I think is always nice. You know, rather than adding something completely new, if you're extending what you've already got, I, I just think that just makes this even better. OK, so I'm cutting out my butterfly now. And again, I'm leaving a bit of a border around the edge. And that way, just I find that much easier. Anything that's fiddly, you can get rid of because you've, or not get rid of, but anything that's fiddly is made bigger because you're leaving that border around the edge. So it isn't as fiddly to cut out. That's what I'm trying to say. I did notice, or I learnt with Hazel's Live and some comments from Philippa that when they both stamp their butterflies, they stamp it on the card and if they're going to layer one over the top they don't cut the antennae out on the one that they're laying over the top they use the one that's stamped underneath it's like oh, that's so clever but I'm just going to cut round mine I don't think they're that bad to cut out actually but 
but I did think it was a clever tip. So if you don't like cutting out, um, yeah, stamp your butterfly down on your, where you want it on your card and use those antennae and then you can just cut round the real ones or the 3D ones. Okay, so just with the little butterflies, I'm going to cut right in because I want um, to bend the wings up. So if I don't cut right in, right down to there, the wings don't bend as nicely. And again, just leaving a little bit of a border around the edge. I don't worry if it's not perfect. Oh no. Oh, you've all guessed. You've all said dyes. Yes, you're right. We're working on some dyes, but they will take a little while um, to get manufactured. So there, eventually there will be dyes that go with your butterflies and your dragonflies and something else as well. So, so that's good. I haven't seen any more questions. I hope... Um, Ruth is the only person that it's frozen for because mine is still working and I'm still getting comments. So I'm going to carry on and hopefully if it's frozen for you, then you'll be able to catch up. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you're pleased that you're getting dyes. Okay, so that's butterfly number two. They are quick and easy to cut out, though. But I'd, it, it gives you a totally different look with dyes. And there's things you can do if you've got dyes. So I, I do get it, totally. Totally. Okay. So almost there now. And so we'll put our card together. Oh, and I'll show you how to correct the faux pas with the embossing powder. Um, and then I just, on my dragonflies, I added some glitter glue for the sparkle in the wings. And I do think it's transformed them. So get rid of those. First of all, we'll sort out our bee on our birthday. So I'm going to wipe it with an anti-static bag because I, I've touched it and I only want it to stick where I want it to stick. Now I'm going to use my Wow embossing pen and this has got embossing ink in it and I can just go over that area on the bee where I caught the embossing powder and knocked it off. And now I can take my embossing, tap it on and now my bee is covered. So I just melt my powder, bear with me. So now my bee is perfect. It's all embossed now. So that's much better. So I always forget that I've got my embossing pen. I mean, you can draw with them. You can write your own sentiments. You can write people's names on it. You could write your message inside your card using them. They're absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure um, lots of the stockists will have them if they stock well embossing powders. Okay, so that's our birthday. So I'm going to start, going to pop some foam pads so what I do first is with my butterfly bear with me get my pokey tool so I want to curl and shape my butterfly now it's quite big so I don't find it easy to do in one go plus my hands are not good anymore so just do it several times rolling it over with your pokey tool don't, don't try and do it in one go it's thick card as well we have to remember like just using 300 gsm for goodness sake so but once it's curled it will hold its shape so i have to remember where i want that to go in fact i'm going to glue that down because it can't stick outside of my card do you know what i watched hazel take the lid off of her glue bottle the other day and she rolls <laughs> it's a bit tight 
she rolls her fingers on the lid and it's just like that's such a good way to get the lid off but it was a bit stuck that was nappy not like my glue bottle okay it's got a dry bit i didn't clean the end off i don't think before i put it away <gasps> okay so i'm going to put glue down the body and on the antennae and position my butterfly as high up as I can and over as I can and then stick it down because that was one of the the nice things with the dragonfly was I could curl his tail a little bit and bring him in a little bit so now I want to put make sure I've got room for my happy birthday which yeah that's going to fit on there fine I'm going to put Curl and shape my butterflies. I might not use all three. I might do. So we could have one here. I think I will because it's like, I could use two. Oh, actually I might do it like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. So it's got three in total. Okay, and I'm not going to do have a wonderful day. I'm going to change it. Like I say, I like to change things up a bit. So I like these um, foam pads. I think they are brilliant. They're from Hunky Dory. They come in five mil strips or they come in two mil, I think it is. So I usually put bigger pieces down where I can and then I'll come back in with my smaller pieces so let's and because it's 300 gsm card you don't need foam pads on every single piece like it doesn't have to be every single letter all of it like covered let's just put a bit in the middle as i've got this bit left there we go so then i'll take this the skinnier version and I will need a piece on the end here to balance, obviously. And I like to do, I like to do the edges of the letters of the word, definitely. But then that is probably, I might put a little bit there. That will be enough because it's 300 GSM card. Yeah, don't feel like you have to fill every single letter, the full length of it. Like that, that will be enough to make it sit nicely. The bits I can keep and I will use those on another card. Okay, so I'll start with happy. And I quite like these because I haven't actually had problems getting the backs off either. Which sometimes getting the backing paper off foam pads is a nightmare. So these are really good, I have to say. Okay, so I'm going to come up and I'm going to tuck this right at the bottom of my butterfly. And then I will take the backing off of birthday. And then let's stand up to line this up. And it fits perfectly across my card. And then I'm going to have one of my butterflies. So a bit on the body and again the antennae. And I'm going to have that towards the bottom. And then the same again. Tuck his wing. And I'm actually going to tuck. Yeah, I'm going to tuck a bit of my butterfly under like that. I don't know whether to have another one. No, I'm going to leave it at two and the big one. And I'm going to finish off with a few. So I need to just move something while I get my glosses out. Honestly, my tiny little bit of workstation. <laughs> right. I need a lovely big craft room and studio. It's not fair. <laughs> okay, 
So let's put, ooh, they're, they'd be rather nice. So let's have a pink and an orange. These are out of Tutti Frutti. And then I think I'm going to have a, hmm, then we could go that orange up there and that little yellow, that would look nice. And then we really need a couple more over here. So let's go that pink and this one. There we go. Right. I've got some glosses and then some glitter glue and down the body. And then all I do is scribble in that center part. You could, I did actually put it all over for the dragonfly, but I don't try and be careful. I do down the, the body, but then I just scribble up a little bit from the center. So where all that detailing is on the butterfly to start with, you could, maybe as it's the big one, let's just put a little bit around the edge of the wings, the edge of the big butterfly wings. There we go. So, one dragonfly, one butterfly, same card, looks totally different because you've got the different elements on there. Um, yeah, I think it's fab. So bear with me while I just flip the camera. And let's, I just, I should tell you as well, if you haven't got your collection already, you can, there's a list of stockists at the top of this page. You will find them at Dragon's Paper Craft at Forget Me Not Craft, for not, blah, 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 Forget Me Not Craft Cabin, at Hixie Soft Crafts, Valley Crafts, Craft Stash, Maximum Crafts, Let's Create, The Mulberry Bush, The Art of Crafts and Craft Bliss. And if you're watching in America, they will be on Simon Says Stamps website any day because they have arrived. Um, so they will be there any day. So bear with me while I'm just going to go back through the comments. You really do well in I do. If you if you could see, I've had to go to the little Tim Holtz um, glass mat because my big glass mat won't fit on there anymore because I bought or I had for Christmas a, a lovely shelf with a drawer in it for my computer to sit on. <laughs> so I made my my little bit of thing can't be much more than twelve inches wide. <laughs> But I do do well, you're right. Okay, bear with me. Love the dragonflies. As, oh, thanks, Dunja. Oh. I'm just on the kitchen table to craft. What I would do to have a craft room again. Yeah, I know. I thought you had one in the garden. The cabin in the garden now, Patsy, is where all the stock for the company is. So... It's all racked out and got a packing area, so no craft room in there anymore. Hi, Peter. Yeah, I, I'm glad that everybody's really pleased um, about the um, the thought of getting dyes. Why do I keep getting? I don't. I don't know what this sudden stars is. I've got stars enabled, not stars received. I don't know. Maybe it means I'm a superstar, but I don't know how you do it. I've no idea. Dice will be brilliant. Excellent. Mind you freeze, but okay now. I'm glad it's okay now. That's good. Okay, well, I hope that um, Ruth got back on. Oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't. Oh, and gents. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Ian. I didn't see that you joined us. I do apologise. Yes, thank you, ladies and gents. I do forget. I'm sorry. Would love some matching dyes for sentiments as I'm not great at cutting out. Watch this space, Julie. Some, some more things coming. I've never had that where I've had a hair on my stamp and messed it up before. So, Marilyn, yes, I'm fairly certain that we've covered your request. I will check. What? Raspberries are good in balsamic. Mm, I should have to try that. 
yes this stamp this stamp collection is really versatile okay ladies i just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's joined us um i will get kaz to put this up onto the youtube channel so if you're ever having trouble finding something if you go to youtube and then search julie hickey designs uh, all the videos are actually on there as well and she tries to label them up um with what we've been looking at or what we've been making so yeah if you can't find us they'll be there and i will be back later in the week and i will be doing gonna do i'll probably do the stencil one first so i'm gonna do one about using the stencils and then later on i will do something where i'll show you how i painted the backgrounds and then how i made the cards so thank you again for joining me at such such short notice and i will see you later on in the week i hope to give you a bit more notice as well next time okay have a lovely rest of the day keep warm bye